Starting with version 23.1, you can use our form items to create data entry forms, profile pages, navigation menus, action sheets, and settings panels for .NET MAUI. In this video, we'll replicate the settings panel that contains a label, image, text input field, toggle switch, and item picker. Let's get started. I'm starting with creating a new blank .NET MAUI application with the help of our templates. Open the created project and go to the main page.xaml file. It already contains the required XAML namespaces. Let's add a new form group item. This element allows you to visually separate form items. Our application will have four separate groups, bio, language, chat notification, and calls. Let's populate the first group with items. Add a form item to the created form group item. This item will contain an image, name, and email address. You can specify the contact email to the detail property and the contact's name to the text property. To display the contact image, we'll use the image template property that defines a data template that specifies the image area appearance. Now we can run the application to see the first item. Let's create a view model class to bind data edited in form items. Define the properties that will be required in the following steps. Language, vibration mode, is private chat enabled, is sound enabled, and others. Go back to the main page.xaml file and reference the view model. Create a new form item group with the header property set to language. Add a form list picker item that will display the language picker. The picker is opened on the new page whose title is specified with the picker title view property. Run the application to see the result. As you can see, when you click the language item, the new page is opened. On this page, you can choose another language and it will be automatically passed to the form picker item as a selected item. As you can see, the form picker item allows you to display the search field to help users easily find required items. The next group will consist of two switch items. The first switch item will toggle the private chat notifications and the second one group chat notifications. Define these items and bind them to the required properties. The next group will consist of switch item and two list picker items. The switch item will toggle the call sound, the first list picker item changes vibration mode, and the second list item allows you to specify blacklist contacts. In this project, we also use the custom converter to display the selected blacklisted contacts in the form items detail. Go 
The form items we've created before can navigate to its page automatically. Now I'm going to create a form item that will navigate you to a custom view. This item will contain the bio text that you can click to open the page with the text editor to specify this bio info. Let's specify the detail and text properties. As a customization, we can switch the bio's detail and text values when the value is not empty. This behavior is inspired by popular messengers. To do this, we need to define two custom converters, create the biohelper.cs file and define two converters and default bio detail text. Tapping on this form item should open the new page where users can fill out the new bio text. Let's create this view. Add a new page, call it edit biopage.xaml and open it. Reference the editor's XAML namespace and define a multi-line edit. Now we can handle the tap event and open the edit bio page.xaml file. Go to the main page.xaml.cs file and define the new event handler that calls the navigate to page method to open the new bio page. Run the application to see this form item in action. As a last part, we'll customize form item and toolbar appearance. To do this, we can use XAML styles that are specified in the main page.xaml file. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave us a thumbs up or you can leave any questions or comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notified whenever we release new content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.